Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is No Code Luke and in this short video I'm going to show you how to get rid of scroll bars in Bubble. Here I am on an empty app page and to begin with we're just going to create a new repeating group. Now since we don't have any content yet and it would be hard to see it, we just set the background color to a flat color. All right, with that done, we can go to the preview. So I can show you what I mean with scroll bars. Here we see we have the repeating group and the scroll bar that's usually just not necessary. However, we also have the scroll bar on the right side of the page, um, which in most cases we still want our web app to display. Now this problem mostly concerns Windows computers and not um, computers running with the Mac OS. Now to get rid of the scroll bars, the quickest way is to just eliminate all of them. How we do that is we take an HTML element, set it somewhere on the screen, doesn't matter where, and um, you'll find the code down in the description. Um, just copy that, that's a CSS code within the HTML um, format. Now it's not going to get displayed on the page. So if we paste that and we go to preview again, then you'll notice that all the scroll bars are gone. So not just the one on the repeating group, but also the bigger one. Now usually we don't want that to happen. Um, so there's the second option. And for that, we'll just delete the HTML text we just added and we head over to settings and then we scroll down to look for expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. And we check that box and that allows us to then set individual ID tags or attributes to all the different elements we have on the web app. On the bottom of the editor, we see the ID attribute field and we're going to set it to no scroll bar. Now what this will do, let's check over on the preview page again. Um, first, of course, we see the scroll bars again, but if we inspect the elements, we can see that bubble added the ID um, attribute no scroll bar to the repeating group, which means that now in this styling CSS, we can target each element individually. So we can get rid of the scroll bar of the repeating group, but not lose the, all the other scroll bars we actually might want to use later on. For that, we want to create another HTML snippet where we can once again add the code that you'll find down in the description. Now, that's a slightly different version of the code. And this one actually has um, the ID attribute no scroll bar targeted. You see it in the, once we copy it, that we have the hashtag no scroll bar. That means that this code only applies to all the elements with the ID attribute no scroll bar. To demonstrate that, we can actually copy the repeating group. And in the top one, we have the ID attribute set. In the bottom one, we deleted it. All right, so here you can see the first repeating group does not have the scroll bar anymore. The second one still has it, as well as the page as a whole. Perfect. Now, obviously this also works for horizontal scrolling. Let me switch it up quickly which makes this feature super handy. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can actually add the CSS code to change the color or the layout of the scroll bar. But usually, in my experience, you just want to get rid of it. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if it was helpful and leave your comments or questions or video ideas down in the comments. Thanks a lot. Cheers.